Millions of people want to marry celebrities, even other celebrities. Whether they came from childhood crushes come to life or chance encounters on movie sets, these are some of the highest profile marriages to have stood the test of time. Jamie Lee Curtis has been in love with her husband, Christopher Guest, since before they'd even met. As she explained in a brief essay for O, oh, The Oprah Magazine, Curtis came across a photo of Guest in a 1984 issue of Rolling Stone. Upon seeing it, Curtis pointed at the photo and declared that she would marry him. Already an established actor at the time, Curtis even called Guest's agent and volunteered her phone number. And then he never called me and I dated somebody else for a couple months and then broke up with that person. Sometime later, Curtis and Guest happened to dine in the same LA restaurant where they shared a few awkward glances. Curtis thought that was it until he phoned her the following day and invited her on a date. Guest proposed two months later, and they were married that December at director Rob Reiner's house. In the following decades, the couple raised two daughters while enjoying successful and quite separate Hollywood careers. Speaking to Good Housekeeping, Curtis observed that she and Guest have always been, quote, opposites, saying, "...he's an intellectual, and I was from the movie star slash alcoholic slash drug addict side, where education was not the most important thing. We don't listen to the same radio station, we don't read the same paper, we don't go to bed at the same time." Tom Hanks first met Rita Wilson when she guest starred in a 1981 episode of a sitcom, Bosom Buddies. The two became friendly, though only on a platonic level, as Hanks was married at the time. In 1985, Hanks's marriage was ending when he and Wilson reconnected while co-starring in the big-screen comedy Volunteers. Hanks recalled to GQ that, while on set for the film, the actors immediately developed a chemistry that they could not ignore. Hanks' divorce was finalized in 1987, and he and Wilson tied the knot the following year and went on to have two children together. They supported each other through good times, such as co-producing the mega-hit My Big Fat Greek Wedding, as well as immense challenges, like Wilson's battle with breast cancer. Discussing the strength of their relationship with Oprah, Hanks explained, "...the success of our relationship was a matter of timing, maturity, and our willingness to have an intimate connection." While he also admitted that their romance isn't the idealized fantasy depicted in the movies, he claimed that no matter the challenge, the pair knows they will always be there for each other in the end. In April 2023, the couple celebrated their 35th wedding anniversary. Wilson marked the occasion by posting a photo to Instagram, with the caption partially reading, "...love is everything." Though it would be years before they got together, Kevin Bacon told The View he first met his future wife, Kira Sedgwick, when she was just 12 years old. You met her for the first time at when she was 12? I did, yeah. We weren't dating at the time. Uh, okay. <laughs> As the story goes, Sedgwick saw Bacon performing in an off-Broadway play, and after the show, she ran into him at a deli and complimented his performance. The two did not meet again for several years, until they co-starred in the film Lemon Sky in 1987. On set, they felt an immediate connection. In an interview with Vulture, Sedgwick explained that shortly after falling for each other, she had the inexplicable understanding that Bacon was the man for her. The pair were engaged by December of that year and married in 1988. In addition to having two children together, the couple has also worked together in a professional capacity quite regularly. Not only have they co-starred in the films Murder in the First and Cave Dweller, but Bacon has also directed his wife in her hit TV crime drama The Closer. Despite being married for over three decades, Sedgwick says they don't need to put much effort into keeping their sex life alive. She explained to Red Book, "...when he walks into a room, I'm still, I mean, my heart gets a little fluttery, and I think, oh, he's so cute, he's so hot. That's literally the first thing I think." It was their mutual love of live theater that brought Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick together. In 1991, Parker was an up-and-coming actor, while Broderick had already hit it big with Ferris Bueller's Day Off. At the time, he was directing a play with the Naked Angels Theatre Company in New York City. According to the New York Times, the company was run by Parker's brothers, through whom she met Broderick. After leaving an endearing message on Parker's answering machine asking her out, the two began seeing each other. By 1996, the pair was very much a couple when they starred together on Broadway in How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. They wed in 1997 and became parents to a son and twin daughters. According to Parker, the secret to their marriage's longevity has been their ability to evolve alongside each other. She explained to People, "...your needs are shifting. You and your partner are going to change. It seems so silly, but I think you're very lucky if you like the person. I still just really like him. I'm sure I annoy him and he annoys me, but I literally learn about him every day." While their acting careers have rarely overlapped, the spouses did co-star in a 2022 Broadway production of Neil Simon's Plaza Suite.
There's no escaping Warren Beatty's former reputation as Hollywood's most notorious Lothario, as he reportedly bedded numerous famous women since attaining Hollywood stardom in the 1960s. Beatty had just ended a high-profile romance with Madonna, his co-star in 1990's Dick Tracy, when he cast Annette Bening in his 1991 film Bugsy. Benning, like many women before her, was smitten. She told People that the combination of Beatty's intellect and passion for his art was what really caught her attention, and Beatty apparently felt the same way. Shortly after meeting Benning, Beatty even told his friend Barry Levinson that he planned on marrying her. Beatty and Benning were married in 1992 and had four children together. While Beatty's prior reputation paired with their 21-year age gap may have led some to assume the marriage wouldn't last, they celebrated their 30th anniversary in 2022. During a 2020 appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Benning expressed pride in the longevity of their union and claimed that she could see them keeping their marriage alive for another 40 years easily. Michelle Pfeiffer and David E. Kelly make up the consummate Hollywood power couple. Pfeiffer is an Oscar-nominated star, earning acclaim for her roles in films like Dangerous Minds and Scarface. And Kelly is one of TV's top producers, responsible for series ranging from Ally McBeal to Big Little Lies. The pair first got together after going out on a blind date in 1993. However, as Pfeiffer told Good Housekeeping, the circumstances weren't exactly primed for a romance at the time, given that she was in the process of adopting a baby, and they'd only been dating for a couple of months when she finally brought her infant daughter home. Pfeiffer explained, so we had this child with us right away, and most people don't have that. But I really got to see him in a situation that certainly would separate the boys from the men. Obviously, he really rose to the occasion. Despite these unique circumstances, they wed in 1993 and celebrated 29 years of marriage in November 2022. Interestingly, in all those years, the couple has never worked together. According to Pfeiffer, though, there's a very good reason for that. I value our relationship more than a good part, and I just think it's too risky. Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen first met in the early 1980s when they auditioned for roles in the film Cross Creek. While Steenburgen was cast and Danson was not, their story thankfully did not end there. A decade later, they met again when they signed on to co-star in the 1994 rom-com Pontiac Moon. At the time, both were single. Danson divorced his second wife, Casey Coates, in 1993 and had recently broken up with then-girlfriend Whoopi Goldberg. Steenburgen had also recently divorced actor Malcolm McDowell in 1990. The sparks flying between them on screen were real, and the two began dating. In 1995, the pair tied the knot in Martha's Vineyard, with the nuptials boasting a star-studded guest list that included then-President Bill Clinton and his wife Hillary, along with Jack Nicholson, Kelsey Grammer, Tom Hanks, Bruce Springsteen, Carly Simon, and James Taylor. In 2018, Steenburgen shared a selfie of herself and her hubby celebrating their 23rd wedding anniversary. Even after all those years of marriage, Danson insisted that the flame that sparked on Pontiac Moon had yet to dim, telling Us Weekly in 2017, I'm madly in love with Mary Steenburgen. She's a remarkable human being, so I'm just incredibly blessed. It feels like heaven on earth. If I were to die, I can say, I know what it's like to be loved and to love. Actors Courtney B. Vance and Angela Bassett first met in the 1980s when both were graduate students at the prestigious Yale School of Drama, though there was no love connection at the time. First time I met Courtney was at the Yale School of Drama. I do most definitely remember him. I don't remember her at all, really. However, when they bumped into each other more than a decade later in Los Angeles, Vance certainly took notice. Bassett explained to people that both were single at the time, and before long, the pair were wed. Since their 1997 marriage, they've had two children and celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary in October 2022. Asked to share the secret behind their enduring marriage, Vance offered a seemingly simple equation, saying to people, talking, communicating, and allowing each other to have your own space, and then come back together. It's like a rock band, the Temptations or the Stones or the Eagles. As he explained, those groups had survived and stood the test of time, unlike many others who split up over egos, money, personality conflicts, or pursuing solo careers that ultimately flopped. Instead, working hard together to maintain the incredible thing they built is how Vance and Bassett have persevered through the years. Victoria Beckham parlayed her pop stardom as Spice Girls' as Posh Spice into a fashion empire, while her husband, David Beckham, was arguably the most famous soccer player in the world in his prime. They met at a 1997 soccer match, but the British footy star had been eyeing her for a while. As he recalled during an appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, he and a friend happened to see the Spice Girls on TV a few months after they blew up, and he pointed at Victoria and expressed that he'd like to marry her. 
That eventually happened in 1999, shortly after they welcomed their son Brooklyn, the first of their four children. During that Ellen appearance, David opened up about their marriage, revealing that the secret had been to ensure that each partner always allotted time for the other, regardless of how busy they became with their individual careers. In July 2023, the Beckham celebrated their 24th wedding anniversary, with David sharing a 1999 photo of themselves via Instagram. He captioned the photo, to the best wife, mummy, and drinking partner, most of the time. Happy anniversary! Felicity Huffman is best known as Lynette Scavo on Desperate Housewives, and her husband, William H. Macy, is renowned for portraying TV's worst father in Shameless. The pair has been together for well over three decades, having met in the early 1980s when both were struggling young actors in New York City. Over the next 15 years, they dated on an on-again, off-again basis. When they finally married in 1997, Macy had already proposed numerous times. For her part, Huffman expressed to the Chicago Tribune that marriage terrified her for a long time, which was a big part of the delay. However, after reconnecting from a five-year separation, Huffman realized that the only surefire way to keep Macy in her life was to tie the knot. Since then, the pair welcomed two children as their respective stars rose in Hollywood, though Huffman's was briefly tarnished for her unfortunate involvement in the 2019 college admission scandal keeping their marriage together for so many years hasn't been without effort. As Huffman explained to the Huffington Post, one important rule has helped ensure the longevity of their marriage. She stated, Once a week, we do sit down and make sure we take half an hour, each person gets 15 minutes, just to talk, with no crosstalk. I talk, then you talk. You kind of just deeply check in with the other person.